and we are back. In this video, I said I wanted to get into some better power production, some better actually additions to machines. So let's check out the recipes for that real quick. I don't think it's anything too difficult. I might have to do some more mining though. I'm thinking of using canola oil in an oil generator. I've set up a process in a creative world, so I kind of know how it works. We're going to need quite a few machines for this, though. The first of which is a... I think I can actually do it like this. Yes, okay, awesome. A farmer. The farmer automatically farms a 9 by 9 area. It's a pretty big area. I think this might be my favorite farmer block that I've used so far. And it takes Inori crystal blocks. That's 9 iron. And an atomic reconstructor. 4 seeds and an iron casing. That's not too bad. I don't know if I'm going to have enough iron for that though. Well, I will. Especially once I get this processed. See, let's put that in there. Actually, before we do that, let's work on some better storage while that iron is processing. I can use the storage drawers. Or maybe just craft some more of these storage crates. We found a few of these in that actually additions building over there and it holds quite a bit I think it's like a diamond level chest really almost and it's also got three tiers all the way up to large these are a little expensive though I'm gonna need some more machines from actually additions to get the highest tier right now this one the void crystal I think that's coal Yes, okay. Wood and, well, it needs small storage crates anyway. And the small ones are just wood planks, wood casing, and four chests. And the wood casing is just four sticks, five planks, and, yeah, four sticks and five planks. So a lot of wood. So I need four chests. Let's just do a full stack of chests. That'll be enough for two small crates. Wow, that ate up a ton of wood already. Let's go ahead and do... There's enough for four. And the wood casing, I need sticks. If I can click... Oh, shoot. There's logs, too. We don't need 16 of these. We only need... 4? That should be enough to make 4 of these. And then the second tier... Void Crystal Blocks. That's gonna take a ton of coal. Let's see, let's go ahead and do it. That's, now you fire, are you serious? Let's try that again. Don't magnet towards me. There we go. And that was enough for one. Okay, whatever. Let's just check it out. Let's put these down somewhere. How about up here? 
And then the medium swords crate. Yeah, that adds a, another whole page to the inventory. Okay, so the iron should be done. I'm going to have to do some mining before I get into this, I can tell already. So I've already had something planned out for that anyway. We need to get a Tinker's Hammer. I'm thinking Cobalt for pretty much all of it. I know for the Hammerhead, I've already got a cast out for that. and I've got a cast. Oh, shoot. I poured the wrong one. It's no big deal. Manulin isn't that great of a material for, like, picks. It's more of a combat uh, material, because all of the trades have to do with dealing damage. And the mining speed's slower, too. It's got some pretty nice durability, though. And if you do happen to make a incorrect part out of whatever material, you can just drop it back in the smeltery and it'll smelt it back up. So that's no big deal. I just lost a little bit of lava. Let's see, a cobalt head. And then the hammer is made on the tool forge, of course. It's going to take a hammer head, two plates, and a top tool rod. So I'm thinking cobalt, cobalt, ardite, maybe manulin for the second plate. Maybe. Because I don't know how that second plate works. So four is enough for that second cobalt plate. And then, well, we won't put Ardite in yet, because I'll just make an alloy. And I think I only need three for the tough tool rod anyway. Yes, I think I might have three ingots over here. No, I only got two. stuff takes forever to melt down and these villagers that is getting on my nerves so much can I turn the villagers off friendly creatures thank god I'm starting to regret setting up base in this village Okay, so one of these storage crates, how about this one? This is where we'll put all of our smelted ingots and coal and stuff like that. I'll do some rearranging off camera. Okay, so this is done. We need a large plate. What was the trait for... Extra cold blooded. Deal increased damage to targets at full health. And only adds 50 durability. Okay, so maybe we won't use Manuelin. Poisonous dense. Your tool lasts longer when it has less durability. What does cobalt do? Lightweight? Let's just do another cobalt plate. Because that adds 10% to the mining speed. Okay, so we don't need this. We do need this, though. So this hammer should mine pretty quickly, to tell you the truth. Oh, come on, it is night. And I'm out of power. Oh, that can't keep up. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to upgrade our power generation. That's for sure. Just invite yourself right on in. 
And are you gonna watch me sleep? And we have cobalt. So we need another plate. And then our dite. Where's my Ardite? I don't see it. I know I didn't use it all. Iron. Am I blind? Aluminum. Oh, it's in my inventory. Duh. Okay, so that tough tool rod takes three. So then I have one left over. There's that. Have to do it at the tool forge. Plate, plate, head. The reason for using Ardite is because of this Petramore. It should help with the durability problems. So I should be getting some decent durability anyway. It's not that great mining speed. Durability, the modifier is 1.4, but it subtracts 200 from overall. I think that might be better than Cobalt. I don't know. That's what we're going with, so it doesn't matter. As soon as we get this, we'll have our hammer. Now these hammers really help with mining. It does a 3x3 three three, uh, area of effect mining. It speeds up mining so much. Mining speed of 4.8. That's not very good at all. Why is that so low? Probably because it's a hammer. But the area of effect will make up for that. Let's go test it out. No, that's not too bad at all. And the durability, 2200. Compared to, yeah, that's even more than the pickaxe. Not too bad at all. And then, of course, we can put redstone or lapis on it to increase the mining speed or um, fortune enchantments. I think I'll hold off on that for now, though. Also, there's one more thing I'd like to make real quick before I start mining. Oh, it's not the dev null. The dank null, that's what it is. It looks like it's different. I think it works the same. Oh, wow, this is much different. I don't know how to use this at all. I know what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to be like that dev null from Infinity. It will void certain items that you pick up. You can set it to... Like if you mine a tot on cobblestone, you don't want your inventory to full up, you can set it to just eat all the cobblestone blocks of coal to make just the first tier it looks like okay well well we will hold off on that for now so i'm going to do some mining and i'll get right back with you guys okay so i should have enough resources to get most of this if not all complete i've already got the farmer and everything the crafting recipe set up over there but there's a couple more things I need to craft before we get started. I want to give a try with these energy lasers. Uh, first of which we're going to need a laser wrench. This is the Actually Editions wrench tool. And it seems like it's just two Inori crystals and an advanced coil. 
Advanced coil is a basic coil surrounded with gold nuggets. Basic coil is four Estonia crystals surrounding a black quartz. That's actually kind of complicated. Gold, I have black quartz. So it was like this. That gets the basic coil. And then this is the advanced coil. And then the two Inori crystals, laser wrench. Now these energy laser relays, this is how you transport power around with the Axley Editions machines. That's going to require four obsidian, two Restonia crystals, another advanced coil, and two redstone blocks. That's kind of expensive. I hope I have enough obsidian to get enough lasers for everything. And then redstone. And another advanced coil. So let's see if I can remember. My memory's terrible. One, two, three, four. One. And then surround it with gold nuggets. Advanced coil. And then two blocks of redstone. Like this. Four obsidian. Advanced coil in the center. And it was two Restonia crystals. And that gets four energy laser relays okay so this should be enough to get started with the farmer at least and then the farmer we're going to need one of these iron casings which is just four sticks black quartz and four iron ingots and then the farmer itself is four anori crystal blocks four seeds and this iron casing gets a farmer. Now what this farmer does when you place it down let's see where would be a good place to put this how about right about here it will face you this will be where it will start its where it plants it's a 9x9 nine nine area in front of the farmer so it would be one, two, three, four, out to here. One, two, three, four, to here, and then nine blocks ahead. It's a pretty big area. And then one more thing to make this farmer work really well. You can use these worms. And the way you get these worms is you just till the land with a hoe and you have a chance at getting a worm. I, I got 14. I went through a full iron hoe and I got 14 worms from it. That's what all this dirt is from. And these worms, the way they work, let's see, four. If you place it right here, it does a three by three area. It will till and hydrate the land. So it actually matches up perfect with the area that the farmer is going to plant. If you use nine worms, it'll be a nine, yeah. It'll take nine worms to do the nine by nine area. And then right here. Then one right here, one right here. one right here and one right here that should be the full nine by nine area that is tilled and no I messed up how did I mess up what did I do wrong oh those two are in the wrong place to get the worms I don't think you can get the worms back but you can get them off the ground just by breaking the block that they're on so I lost two worms, which is no big deal. So pretty easy to get. One there and one here. Now we should be good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Okay, so this farmer block, when you place it down, you will have a GUI here. You can put whatever seed you want in this side, and then this will be the output side, and will also require energy too. And I have some canola seeds already. I got quite a few from using that Horn of the Wild, clearing all the grass out. Let's see if I can find them. Canola seeds, canola seeds. There's the canola. Where are the seeds? Canola seeds. I have 40. That's not going to be quite enough. And I think you can get canola seeds from the canola plant. I think you can just put it in your... Yes, okay. Let's just do that then. Just to make sure I have enough. So load this thing up with the canola seeds. And then we need a way of getting power to this machine. This is where I want to try out those laser relays just to make sure I understand the way they work. We're just going to use a coal generator for now. Just put it like right here. And the way I understand it, if we put energy laser relays on the generator and whatever block needs power, and then connect it with a laser wrench by right clicking the relays, Okay, and then if we put coal, I seriously forgot coal. Oh, wow, seriously? I got quite a bit of coal from mining, and now I'm almost out again. Zero RF, 180 RF. Oh, it's planting. Okay, good. It is working. And then these worms will keep the ra the the ground tilled and hydrated, and it will also provide a random bone meal effect every so often, so it will speed up like the growth too. Yeah, see, that plant got a bone meal effect. So over time, this thing will fill up with this side with canola plant. And then we need a way to convert the canola to canola oil. And for that, we use a There's one of the There's the oil generator. We're going to need one of these too. This is what generates the power from the canola oil once we get it uh, transformed. We need a canola press. Looks like six cobblestone, canola, in order crystal, and an advanced coil. That's not too bad at all. I'm going to need some canola plants and more cobblestone. I did set up some storage drawers up here just to deal with the amount of cobblestone I was getting. How do I get a full stack of cobblestone? Okay, shift right click. I don't know why it didn't work the first time. The store storage drawers, they will store quite a bit of one type of item. So it's perfect for cobblestone and dirt and stuff like that. What was I after? Canola. Okay, so canola press. We need an advanced coil, and that was, I finally have it memorized. Black quartz and four Estonia crystals. And I need more gold nuggets. You can click with the middle mouse button to sort your inventory. I don't know why those buttons are missing that I've used in the past, but the middle click will work just fine. Let's see, that was in the bottom, and it was six cobblestone like so. Must be getting dark because that villager just ran in that house. It's actually my house. 
and an Anori Crystal. Canola Grass. I probably want more than one. I don't know how fast that farmer is going to work. And how fast the canola press works. Let's see, do I have... I should have enough resources to make about four. One, two, three. And one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. There's that. Surround it. And it was six. Like so. Uh, advanced quill, where did it go? Anori crystal and canola. Awesome. So, we're going to need a way to get the canola out of this once it finally gets harvested automatically. I think I could probably just put the press up against it. But what I'd like to do is have all of the canola be transferred out of this into a chest. So let's take a look at the item laser relays. Fluid item. Okay, so we need a fluid laser relay and an atomic reconstructor. And fluid is energy in an atomic reconstructor. And it sounds like... Oh, no, it's this guy. So I'm going to get all the drops because of my... Magnetization ring, are you serious? Okay, so those energy laser relays, just throw those down. And we have item laser re item laser relays. Wait. Didn't that say it was gonna go to fluid? I wanted item, so whatever. So I think it works just about the same way as these. Like if I put one of these on the side here and put a chest. Well, let's see if this works. Well, I don't have, oh well, yeah, we have five canola already. And it is not coming out of this farmer for some reason. Why is that? Let me read up on this real quick, and I'll get right back with you guys. Okay, I think I got it figured out. We need to use a hopper alongside an item interface. Item interface is made with four basic coils, two redstone, two rhizonia crystals, and a chest. So, chest. Four. Basic coils. Two Restonia crystals. Uh, chest in the middle, and what was on top? Two redstone. Just like this. Okay, so now, the way we do this, I'm probably gonna cut out this chest too. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll just see if I can get this to work with the chest first, though. Pickaxe. Where's my pickaxe? Okay, so we got to go underneath this farmer with a hopper. Just like this. 
and then an item interface on the side of the hopper. That connect? No. Can I use a wrench to connect it? Hmm. I don't usually deal with hoppers, so I don't know how to work these. May not be working because it's a laser wrench. Did I make a crescent hammer? I think I did. Yes. Okay, sweet, that works. Okay, so now it's connected. And then we need our item laser relays. We put one on the item interface and then one on a chest. Like so. Put that there, connect them up with the wrench. Can't connect. The relays are either part of the same network the sword relay is the same type or doesn't exist anymore or just too far away. What? Okay, how do I... Okay, let's try this again. Okay, it looks like it's working. Sweet. That's exactly how you do it. Okay. So now, I'm going to need more item laser relays. Which I'm going to need more obsidian. I don't think I have enough. Six. So yeah, let me go mine up some more obsidian. Because I'm going to want quite a few more of these, really. So I'm going to have to have one for each of those canola presses. And then I'm also going to need some fluid relays, too. So, yeah, I'll get right back with you guys in just a minute. Okay, so I have 12 energy laser relays crafted up. That should be enough for all of the power, liquid, and item transportation, I hope. I don't know. So, let's see. We also need, while I'm here, to craft... I'm thinking four, probably four canola presses and four fermenting barrels. After you get the canola oil, you need to pipe it into a fermenting barrel to process it even further into, I'm not entirely sure what it's called to tell you the truth, canola oil, refined canola oil. You need to refine the canola oil in a fermenting barrel. The recipe for this looks like six logs, canola, an ore crystal, and a wood casing. So I'm gonna be running a little short on wood, to tell you the truth. And I think we need sticks too. Okay, fermenting barrel, wood casing with sticks, wood, and a log. And I said I wanted four of these barrels, so I'm going to need four wood casings. Now the planks. Okay, perfect. And then, so I should have everything here. Yes, I, there's three. What am I running short on? Logs? No? What am I running short on? Spruce wood, spru why isn't that stacking? I have no clue. Okay, four fermenting barrels. So now, after the canola gets piped into this chest, 
How am I going to want to do this? Because that hopper, I'm going to need another, need another item interface as well. Unless I just skip that altogether. Skip this chest altogether and just pipe it directly into the presses. But to do that, how am I going to do this? Let's do something like Wow, there must have been a ton of canola in there. Let's put the chest. Do I have any dirt on me? No. I wonder where it all went. Ah, I better grab some. Actually, I don't think I have any in a chest either. I think I've been throwing it all away. I'll probably do some rearrangements off camera because I doubt if I'm going to like the way this turns out. Let's put the chest up about right there. And then an item relay on the side. And then I'm going to have to hook this back up like so. But yeah, I have a ton of canola. Wow. So then we're going to need another hopper and item interface. I wonder if I'm going to have all of the required materials in my inventory for that interface. I can't remember the recipe. Uh, possibly. We're just starting to get dark again. Okay, whatever. We'll go ahead and make four of these. And sleep. Interface, I need a chest and then I should be good. Okay, and then I, oh, I need another chest for the hopper. And yes, I'm well aware that this is n by far not the most efficient way to get this set up. So hopper and item interface like so. And if we right click on this, it should it should but it's not Why isn't it connecting? Okay. Connect, please. Seriously? Why isn't that connecting? Am I placing it in the wrong direction? Like this. 
Whatever, then. We'll put it over here. It doesn't matter. Like that. And then all of that canola that I picked up. So now I need... I need to go back and switch those power relays to... Item relays. I'm gonna need... Let's see. Four or five... I think. So now they're fluid. I wonder why it went to item the first time. Let's see, I'm gonna need... How many of those am I gonna need? Canola press to canola... Oh shoot, I'm gonna need more than five. I don't know how many I'm gonna need. I don't think I have enough for the fluid at least. Ah, I better turn that off. I don't think that drains energy unless it transforms something. Okay, so then we put one of these here and then we need the four canola presses. Like this, I think. Will this work? Looks like it's working. Oh shoot, that needs power too. Oh wow. That just got really convoluted. I wonder if it will work if I put the fermenting barrels in front. I wonder if it'll take the canola oil out and automatically output to the barrels. Let's see. Let's switch. Creeper, no. Well, I guess I got it protected, so it's no big deal. Well, I better not say that. Let's see. Where did it even come from? Okay, let's switch four of these back to power. I'm guessing it'll switch back to power. Now let's switch back to item. Power. I think that's power. Good. And then, like this? Oh, shoot. No. I don't think those barrels will need power. No. And then, I should be able to link up like this. Hopefully it goes through blocks. Because that chest might be in the way. And eh, it looks like it does. Okay, so it's filling with crystal flux. And this is processing, and it is outputting into this barrel, and we are getting refined canola oil. That is awesome. Okay, so now, one last machine. If we go back to our house. We need, I think it's just called an oil generator. Yes. 
We need six cobblestone, canola, and two iron casings. I wonder if, she, yeah, I might as well go ahead and do the full four. So it's sticks, iron, and black quartz. Will I have enough? Yes, I do. So I need eight of these. And then cobblestone and canola. And I should have plenty to make four of those. So I wonder if I can output from the barrels directly into these generators. That would be really cool. It looks like I can. Sweet. So now what I need to do, let's see what would be the best way of doing this. Probably putting these in energy laser relays on top of this, each one of these, and having, no, there is a power storage with these battery boxes and batteries. Battery boxes are, see, let me do some cleaning up this area in my inventory real quick and I'll get right back with you guys okay I think we're good to go now we need to craft a battery box which requires an innervator energizer and a basic coil so let's get the basic coil out of the way just like so the energizer Four Sonia crystals, I wrote an iron casing, and two advanced coils. I'm running low on Restonia crystals. Okay, we have plenty more. So I need, shoot, I need two more of these, probably four more. Yep. So one, two, three, four. And then we need probably two iron casings. I think it's, it looks like it's the same recipe, only it's, yeah, it's only a switch. So sticks, iron, and black quartz. One, two. So, oh yeah, advanced coil. One, two, three, four. Okay, we should be good. Energizer and innervator gives us a battery box. And with this battery box, we set a battery on top. We got single, double, triple, and quadruple, quintuple even batteries. And I believe you have to start with single batteries. And they're crafted with, looks like, five Inori crystals, advanced coil, and a Restonia crystal. So one of these. Need more nuggets. And here is a single battery. And that holds 200,000 crystal flux. Not too much. Double battery goes up to 350,000. And it looks like I can, cr yeah, that's easy enough. Get one of those. Once again, more nuggets. Uh, I think it was like this. Double battery. What does triple battery require? Empowered, empowered Inori crystal. I don't have an empowerer at the moment. At the moment, so we're gonna have to stick with a double battery. And that holds what? Did I say three hundred fifty thousand. 
And these generators hold 50,000. So if we put this down somewhere like here, and then put a battery on top, like so, along with an energy laser relay on the side, I should be able to hook up every one of these to the battery. So this will store 350,000 crystal flux. I don't know what that translates to RF. I think uh, one RF is less than a crystal flux. I think crystal flux is stronger. I think. Why isn't this one doing anything? Hmm. Maybe three of them would have been enough. Because nothing's going through this far side. See, that one's full. All these other ones are going. Yeah, three would have been plenty. So now, if I would put an energy laser... Wow, that's filled already. That's pretty crazy. So now, actually, what I need to do is... Link. Let's see. Take this off. Get rid of this and this. And I need to link this with these. And this. So now it should be like a self sustained power generation. Yep. Very awesome. So who knows how much that's actually going to power like once I start adding machines to it. But for right now, it looks like it's self-sufficient. So this probably went on a little longer than I anticipated. This is basically all we did was get this canola farm put in. But I better end this episode here before it gets too long. So I think I'll do just that, and I will see you guys next time.